Tonight we're gonna be talking about the stock market as a, really? <laughs> a woo for the stock market. Millions of Americans talk about the stock market every day from the ballrooms of the richest Connecticut country clubs to the ballrooms of some of the poorer Connecticut country clubs. <laughs> no matter what's happening in the world, all eyes are always on the market. We stock watch while waiting to find out who's gonna be president. We stock watch while globally warming and neither Santa nor a global pandemic can distract us from our minute to minute check-in. All happening just below Larry Kudlow's nipples. Oh, look at it. But our national obsession came from quite humble roots. The stock market began with a very simple premise. Let's have people invest their money in companies that they believe in. If the company does well, the people will do well. But you couldn't just drive to the company, give them your money, it'd be super weird. You needed a place, a building made of, let's say, marble. But you couldn't just go into that building made of marble and buy your stock. That'd be too much like a store. You'd need a broker, someone better than you. So from the beginning, it was elitist. To buy a stock, you had to pay a heavy commission to whichever college lacrosse bench warmer turned broker you could find. <laughs> and the only folks more elite than the brokers were those who vouched for the brokers on television. My name is J. Paul Getty. The brokerage house of E.F. Hutton Company is a firm with which I've had close and pleasant relationships for four decades. They have been helpful, and their service has been good. <laughs> it's too late for me now. <laughs> for I am more couch than man. More pillow than human. The investor class was made up of literal monopoly men. The stock market was wildly unequal. When the Federal Reserve started analyzing stock ownership in 1989, it found that the top 10% of households owned 78% of the stock market. But the revolution is coming. Hark! <laughs> that hark even scared me. Hark! Its clarion call is upon us! The e-brokers have arrived! Eight dollars, my hey, man. Mike Broker charges me $200 to ride trailer. the wave of the future, my man. <laughs> Ameritrade, believe in yourself. But is a meth head and his father in the market <laughs> still too high a bar? You know, I can conceal this bad boy underneath my blanket just so I can get on e-trade. Click. I just bought stock. If I can do it, you can do it. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Fucking baby. If you want to get in the market, you just need to be a fucking baby with $6. A $6 fucking baby. By the way, someone needs to do a where are they now on that baby. Pretty sure he's hosting a podcast where he's just asking questions about ivermectin. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> and calling women females. They're females. Discount e-brokers democratized the stock market, and inequality went up. Fuck, are you serious? <laughs> they democratized the stock market, and inequality went up. Are you kidding me? Turns out to really democratize this market, we were gonna need something that completely breaks down all barriers. Someone had to take away fees completely. We'd need a hero or not a hero, more like an app. We'd need some kind of an app. There we go. Robin Hood, the OG sexy socialist, the bow and arrow Bernie Sanders, leveling the playing field, stealing from the rich, and giving, who is he giving it to? Robin Hood has made it extremely easy for me to take the income I make from my commission paintings and invest it into stocks. Robin Hood showed me that my money can work for me. 
My name's Azim, and I'm a Robinhood user. I'm an investor. I'm an investor. We are Robinhooders. <laughs> Cozy sweated lesbians? <laughs> In the stock market, well, I never! By the way, in the 90s, they were referred to as just friends. Pray tell, how has Robin Hood managed to breach the palace walls and throw down the drawbridge for these sweatered Lilith Fair maidens? Robin Hood CEO, tell us. I think the combination of zero commissions, no account minimums, fractional shares help level the playing field for, for people to participate in the markets. Thank you, haunted Victorian boy. <laughs> zero commissions! And the markets were flooded with new customers. And not only that, on top of this no commission model, the Federal Reserve's new low interest rates made savings accounts pretty much worthless. So even more stock buyers and money flowed into the stock market. In 2021, more money flowed into the stock market than in the previous 20 years combined. It was a golden age of wealth generation. The unwashed masses finally have their moment to get into the stock market, and it went up! Inequality went up! Are you fucking kidding me? And thus, the problem with the stock market.